All right, hey everybody, Jack here. I just wanted to make a little video explaining the differences between the any percent and all happiness object individual level timing methods uh, for uh, I individual level runs. And so I'm gonna use Santa as an example because it's a really easy one to get through and it can help highlight the difference between the two. So uh, for individual levels, the timing method is the, the same uh, for when you start the run. So you always start an indiv individual level run on the first frame that you can control SpongeBob. In this case, it's gonna be right as we press skip. So if you just like press A uh, and your uh, timing software at the same time, then that's uh, when you're gonna start your run. And then we're just gonna kind of go through it uh, like we're doing a normal any percent run. Um, uh, or like if we're, if we're doing like a full game run in uh, Santa and Timing is going to end on the fade in uh, for the level ending screen. So I'm going to get the, cl the toy clarinet. I'm just going to like mash through the, um, the cutscene. And once, yeah, right there. So I, I ended the timing as like the little like uh, stats screen is starting to like come up because that's when the level is over and um, you know, we're now in just, in just menus. So yeah, uh, that's what's considered like an any percent run of Santa. So uh, timing starts when you can first control SpongeBob and ends when the uh, level ending screen is fading in. So that was an example of an any percent run. Now I'm gonna do an all happiness objects run. So it's gonna be like pretty similar, but a little different. Uh, obviously we're gonna collect all the happiness objects and the timing is gonna be the same for the start, but I'll, I'll show you where you're going to, to wanna uh, end your timing for the, uh, the end of the IL. So timing's gonna start right as you skip uh, into the level and I'm just gonna kind of go through the same can't really uh, speed this up too much um, compared to the any percent strats but we're going to end the timing instead of on the uh, final uh, like you know stats screen like fade in we're gonna do it when we accept the text box for the final uh, happiness object that we collect so I'm gonna jump out here gonna collect all of them uh, it's gonna give me the two text boxes. Yeah, that's fine. And once we get the toy clarinet text box, I'm gonna accept it and timing ends right there. And that might seem weird as to why like we're um, ending timing there, but it's kind of a necessary thing that we have to do because um, there's a few levels uh, where the all happiness objects run doesn't end the same place as the any percent run. Like rock bottom is a good example because you're um, like if you want to do an all happiness objects run you're going to want to go in the order of um, first like doing rock rock bottom out of bounds where like you jump outside of the level uh, go under get the level ending happiness object and then uh, do the second or then do the first and second one uh, like next so you basically if you like assign numbers to the, all the, the happiness objects in the level, you would want to go three, one, two, um, or like last, uh, first, middle, essentially. And so, um, you know, if you did that, that would be the fastest way to get all the happiness objects. But once you collect the last one, which is the 50 happiness nuggets uh, collectible, where like you have to like get all the happiness nuggets um, in a certain like time period. Uh, once you collect that happiness object, the level doesn't end, so we can't really use that method. So the way that's why we use like the timing method, where you uh, just click, you you like accept the uh, the happiness object uh, text box, and then timing ends there. And it's pretty similar for 100%, where you would just um, like once you collect the final collectible in the the level, no matter like what it is, uh, you would just like. Uh, accept and then that's where timing ends but for any percent it's like how fast you can get through a level so that's why we ended on the the cutscene like or not the cutscene but like the level and stat screen fade in and so i guess like really the only exception that um we could uh, really think of is just when you're doing a uh, roboplankton, you still want to end your timer similar to how you would in a full game run. Timing ends on the core hit, 
um, and starts well on the first frame where you can move SpongeBob. So uh, yeah, the, the core hit just like when this like little uh, like you know uh, cloud appears, like that indicates the final hit. And so yeah, that's really uh, all I gotta say about timing methods and uh, toss. So I hope that ended up like clarifying things because the rule set was a bit uh unclear and uh yeah good luck on the runs if you have any questions feel free to like dm me or jaxler on uh in the toss server and and you know just for further clarification and so hope hope the runs go well and hope you all have a great rest of the day